morning all it's like five something I just woke up and we got a big day in the van got some shopping to do and some winter prep to do which is becoming increasingly important <laughs> don't know if you can hear that clicking but that is the heater I installed the other day the the fuel pump clicking away uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot more annoying but I've gotten used to it <laughs> Uh, you learn to live with things when it makes your life just a little bit more convenient. So yeah, let's get this day started. Alarm clock rings, get your coffee cup. Read the paper and sit a while Hear the children and the dog in the yard Fat and happy in your lazy chair TV on with the microwave meal White picket fence and a foreign car Sunday school and the golden rule Drop a dollar in the offering Never really caring where it goes Preacher says that we're all the same Sinners here, saints the same Still you hate people you don't know Which 
you're going to see if you haven't seen it already. Iowa has some really beautiful landscapes right now. Autumn is my absolute favorite time to live in the Iowa Des Moines River Valley. So yeah, let's uh, let's pull right into the campsite here and take a look at what we got. front property here. Oh yeah. Okay, so first things first. Oh, they were on sale. <laughs> but I had to get, I decided I needed some more tools in the van because I'm constantly doing upgrades and repairs. So we've got this, just a cheap socket set with some bits that uh, will come in very handy. We've got this drill and driver set. I've got a few more things inside that I purchased today. Ugh. So let's see. So firstly, I bought propane that was on sale because I got myself a new marine battery. Uh, I've noticed lately I've been having trouble getting to full charge uh, during the day, partly because we know we're not getting enough sun, as you can tell. We have a battery maintainer and charger. I just happened to find these today. These are little puck lights that operate off the same USB charger that uh, that one does. And so I'll be able to put these uh, in a couple different places in the van so that it's not quite so dark at night. And uh, yeah, so that is that. Oh yeah, I got a couple more things. I got a couple battery cables, patch cables. I got these, uh, these are what you call them, quick attaches, basically. So I'm going to wire the maintainer to this and then one into the uh, the new battery. That way I should be able to have better accessibility. So that's our haul today. All in all I spent about $300 not including gas. <laughs> and I got maybe some of the essentials. <laughs> anyway, alright let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. Oh boy, that's the mess I have to deal with.
round up where we started <laughs> in the van as always so yeah i did get the uh the battery installed the new one uh i actually didn't connect the old ones because i'm afraid of them actually drawing power off of the new battery so right now we are running strictly off the uh off the new RV battery, and we'll find use for the other ones later. But, uh, yeah, today ran kind of long. I just edited, like, 45 minutes of footage down to 17, no, down to 10 minutes. I edited 45 minutes of video down to 10 minutes. <laughs> and so, I'm done. I'm tired. Uh, I love you all. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is Lore, and this is my damn van experience. Bye now.